Well, shooting at a San Leandro barber shop killed one man and injured another. And tonight we are hearing from someone who works at that shop and who also knew the victim. KTV's Joey Horta live tonight in San Leandro with more on this story. Joey. Yeah, Mike, police tell us that the man killed inside the barbershop today was an employee. They tell us the customer survived the shooting at the same time. And we're hearing tonight from a man who is mourning the loss of his friend. <laughs> the coroner's truck passes through yellow crime scene tape, marking off part of 14th Street in downtown San Leandro. This is just crazy. It's here where police say two men were shot just after 1 p.m. Wednesday at the Harrison Brothers Barbershop. Police say the man killed was an employee. He died at the scene. I just saw him. Ty is one of the two barbers who work there. He tells KTVU he had just left the shop about an hour before the shooting. I don't know what happened, but I know it's due to senseless violence. Ty says his co-worker, former apprentice and friend, 47-year-old Jonathan Clay, who goes by the nickname Peanut, is the man who lost his life. Great guy, life of the party, the smoothest dude on two feet. Pamela Rice works right around the corner. People just don't have, you know, passion for other people's lives. It's, it's sad. The other man shot a customer, was treated at the scene for minor injuries and released. Police have not released the identity of the suspects. We can't confirm any motivations or whether or not the victim or business were targeted or if this was a crime of opportunity or random act. Sergio Taylor, one of Peanuts customers, owns the nearby U-Haul store. Whoever did it, they need to be caught. They took somebody who was a part of this community away. According to Ty, Clay had turned his life around. After spending time in prison, he started working at the barber shop in 2007 and eventually took over the business. Really pray on him, and I hope this can help other people, you know, wake up and see, you know, you know, people need to live a better life. Now Clay leaves behind six kids. Police have not confirmed that he's the man who was killed today. However, as we said, his friend is saying that they're the only two guys who actually work in this barber shop. We're live in San Leandro tonight. Joey Horn at KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Joey, thank you for that. An arrest has been made.